My name's Victor. I'm making this video for Local Biz to Web, and the topic of this video is how to prepare the house yard for bushfire spot fires. Um, there's a lot of there's a lot of info, good information on the uh, RFS website, and uh, they mention five areas, five uh, key areas that should be. Uh, Preparation. I'll just read about. Um, this is how the RFS has uh, put them in five five points: trim, mow, remove, clear, and prepare. So the first one is uh, it's about green waste. Uh, you've got to trim the trees, trim the hedges and trim all the edges of the yard and the second point is about mowing mow the lawns and the third point is that once once you trimmed all the um, hedges and trees and all the rest all the green waste you've got to remove it um, instead of piling it up on the backyard you've got to actually remove it take it to a tip um, or bury it or do something with it and and the point number four is to uh, clear um, clear the down part of the, the gutters of the roof and um, and if there's any leaves under the trees just like loose debris debris uh, and the num number five is uh, Number five is to prepare. It's the availability of water. That you've got to have a working tap. You've got to have water pressure. You've got to have a hoses that are that are that are intact. And they're, they're the most important five points that are that are mentioned by the RFS. Uh, there's there's a couple of points that didn't mention uh, that is really important. Is water containers like water tanks. It's a good idea to have water tanks in the backyard uh, because if, uh, if if there are if there are more people at the house than one person, there might be four people at the house. If you got water tanks, you can then you can have four people using the water, like putting out the spot fires. But if you if you just got one hose and you then there's only only one person can use a water hose, so water tanks are a really good idea and. They don't mention anything about the uh, inside the house, inside the attic, uh, because a lot, especially the old houses, there's a lot of uh, birds have access into the attic. And each year, they 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 take a lot of loose material into inside into the attic. They build nests. So over 10, 20, 30, 40, 50 years, you have a lot of a lot of material that the birds are brought into the attic. And because the birds have access inside the house under the roof then it means that if there's um, if there's flying embers the embers also got, to get, got access to the through the same access as the birds and the, the last point is underneath the house um, especially the old houses there's a lot of there's a big large cavity under the house and a lot of people store wood and uh, there's there might be a lot of leaves down there might be a lot of dry materials under the house they should be all clear so they're, they're, the, uh, they're the two points that, uh, three points that the RFS doesn't mention. One is the water tanks. You have, have uh, water tanks at various, especially down under the downpipes of the house buildings, because then you have extra water. And the other one was the at, in, inside the attic to check that, clear all the, all the, all the materials that the birds take in there, with the, especially the old houses. And the third one was underneath the house. If there's, if people put wood down there, like storage, or if there's any dry, dry weeds and stuff under the house, and so the, with the embers apply the wind that uh, makes the embers travel, then it can end up under the house. You can, you can have it inside the house, and um, so they're, they're the. Um, seven well eight points that are important points to consider yeah read them out again 
So the first one was trim, the second one was mow, the third one was remove, the fourth was clear, and the fifth one was prepare. So the trim, trim is uh, for the trees and shrubs, mow is for the lawn, and remove is uh, it is also green waste. It's for wood, green waste and also for any, any clutter. It could be uh, any anything that's burnable, flammable, burnable uh, clutter is to be removed away from the yard. And the number point four was to clear uh, to clear all the debris from the gutters and surrounding the house. Number five was to have access to water, town water. Or, or other other means of uh, pressure water and that was a, there were the uh, five points and here's, here's a test that I come up with it's a little exercise is to is to test the to check the yard and look for the most of, of those five areas that they mentioned look for the most uh, uh, risk fire risk area and um, and what you do this exercise can be done by anybody it could be for kids or for adults what you do is you go you have five bits of paper with the uh, with the label spot the fire and it's got a little marker here and what you do there are ten here and you place these. You place these in the backyard or the front yard that, that are the most uh, risk areas. If if there are, if there's a pile of rubbish, if there's a clutter, if there's a lot of green waste, dry green waste, or a pile of firewood, or anything else that's uh, um, flammable, uh, most risk areas you place these in each one. And then once you place, put them in position, then you try to work out a way how if, if there was a uh, um, bushfire and there was uh, like a firestorm and there were the spot fires then how would you put them out and uh, that's the exercise in case of a firestorm uh, how would you put out those risk areas in that in your in your own backyard okay so this is a scenario at the backyard and scenario is that there's a bushfire and there's a firestorm and there's embers strong wind embers flying through the air and they're starting uh, spot fires so where would they land okay there's one there's one spot fire okay so there's one potentially some dry grass and and then look through here there's another one potentially potentially some dry grass along the fence could be another one then we come along here here not so bad here got it all trimmed been watered. Oh, we'll go this way. Ah, there's one. There's another one here. There's some dry materials, some bottle brush, or whatever. So that could be could be a fire there. A little bit there, and. There's another one here, potentially a spot fire, there's a little bit of dry material in the corner, and there's a water tank here, plenty of water. All right. That's that, and we continue on, no spot fires there, oh, here's one. We have one over here. There's another spot fire there, and we've got a pile of dry material, organic materials there that could burn. Now, what's in here? This could be a danger. 
This could be dangerous in here. Yep, plenty of dry timber in here. All trend, plenty of uh, dry leaves. So that could be another one. Spot the fire. Spot fire. Yep, definitely. There's some burning, burning material there. Where else? There must be more. Another five to go. Let's look in here. Yep, there's one. That's a definitely potential fire danger. Spot fire. All this dry stuff here. If there's a firestorm with all the embers flying through the air, something would catch on fire in here. Okay, so we keep going. Another tree to go. There's another one. Now that could be that's bamboo. Yep. That's bamboo. So if it's not watered, if it's dry potentially ready for spot fire there and then what else around the house not so bad not as dry now this one it's definitely one there So, that's all the uh, dry flammable material in that corner there. It's a potential uh, hazard, fire hazard, for if there's a bushfire, firestorm and uh, spot fires. Okay, so this is location one. It's, um, it's right, right next to the tap. So the way that I would put this one out would be with a hose and the second one the second one similarly I would use a hose Okay, so spot the fire number three is right there. How would I put it out? I'd go up to this water container right here. I'd get the bucket into the water, and straight away I've got about eight, seven liters of water, and put it out. Holding the camera, it's just a matter of all right. Okay, so that's number three, number four, number five. Do the same again. Water container, Put plenty of water. There's 200 liters there. Come up here. Spot the fire, and again I get the bucket, put it out, half a bucket, still got a half a bucket left, come up here, and we just put the fire, put it right way up. Yep, so I'd get the bucket of water here and just go. That's out. And so that's number four or five. And number six. Number six is down here. I could get the water again from here. 
or potentially I could go and go down here. Fill the bucket. Get some water. And that's that. Uh, Okay, so number six, and the other ones, I've got one down here, there's a spot by there, that's a quite bad one, so I'll get it right here, got a full bucket of water, and come up here, out. Okay, seven. And for the other ones, that's seven. Got another two. So I've got plenty, got another container there. Another drum over here. Oh, there it is. That's uh, another spot by there. So I just reach in here. Put a bucket of water. And just go down here. And hold the bucket. And that's out. So there's one more. Check the spot fires. On here, none to be seen. Come up here. Now, oh, this one. So, we've got a spot fire in the corner. I'm gonna come up here. I've got some water just on the corner. I'll grab some water. Come up here. And that's out. That's out. If it wasn't out, you can have a bit of water and put it out. There we go. That's that. So, the purpose of the exercise was um, first was to identify the the most vulnerable locations for um, potential bushfire firestorm and the embers, and second second. Second exercise, um, second stage of the exercise was to locate the most vulnerable locations in the yard, in your specific yard and my specific yard. And then the third, third stage of the exercise was to, uh, to figure out how to put out the, the, the uh, potential danger, fire danger. And without doubt, Water, water drums are really really good because you could have you could have five people or even more people putting out putting out spot fires and if you only got a hose one hose that's not that's not going to be quick enough it'll be good for one person but it, it's not going to be good for the other four people so water water drums are really good and uh, like even in a small yard like here there's 3,000 liters 3,000 liters stored water uh, for potential um, bushfire or spot fire, and also the water could be used to uh, for water in the garden. So, uh, without doubt, the best solution to um, fire danger threat is to is to have water drums and water water containers ready in the in the locations where they need it. Where with, with the most vulnerable locations, um, 
of like the corner, each corner of the of the house under the downpipes, or you could have each corner of the of the block. So, from the previous exercise, it's obvious that uh, having water drums, uh, water containers, like 200 liter containers, is really the most effective way to put out a fire. Um, for most most households, um, and yet, even if the evidence is there, it's proven that it's the quickest way to put out a fire, uh, especially if there's more than one person. Then, uh, yet, there's going to be uh, skeptics. They'll say they they refuse to get water containers because they 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 the argument the logic is that. If we don't get rain, what's the point of having water containers? Um, some people say that, but the idea of having water containers like water drums is that you can you can use town water, you can fill it up with town water. And um, whether you've got 1,000 litres, 2,000 litres or 3,000 litres of town water, if, if it hasn't rained, you fill it with town water. And then you've got, a, you've got water that's ready if, if there is a uh, bushfire and there is a firestorm and the, the embers fly through the, with the wind so potentially whether there's rain or there's no rain still if you have water drums you can fill them up with town water that's that's the short of it and, um, thanks for watching uh, local business web video and uh, until next time enjoy